You might have had this experience, trying to measure your laser beam's power only to find that it keeps changing on you. Sometimes that can be the result of unstable environmental conditions affecting your sensor. But sometimes it's just the way your laser is behaving or misbehaving. How do you get your measurement when the laser is unstable? We'll look at two separate kinds of instability. Fluctuations, where the time constant is short, and drift, where the time constant is longer. As a first step when trying to get down and measure an unstable laser, you'll need to observe your readings and note their behavior with time. Once you know the nature of the problem you need to solve, you're ready to proceed. To deal with fluctuations, assuming of course that they represent random noise, if they're non-random, then of course the approach will be different. The obvious solution is to take the average of the power readings over enough time to average out or smooth out the fluctuations. Don't panic. Ophir meters have a built-in average function that does this for you automatically. You only need to set the time period over which the meter will calculate the average and the displayed reading will be the running average over the selected time. Now let's look at how to measure power of a laser beam whose power is drifting slowly upward or downward for whatever reason. If you need to know the beam's power as you perform some critical step in an experiment, but the reading you take after that step is, let's say, lower than it was just before you performed that step, which reading do you use? As before, you'll first need to map out the situation. You'll want to take a number of readings at enough time points to establish a pattern. As a simplified example, let's say that critical action during which you need to know the beam's power takes you 30 seconds. And let's say the power reading just before it was 1.5 watts and just after it was 1.3 watts. If from the pre-mapping you did, you saw that the drift rate is reasonably consistent over that time period, you can quite safely interpolate and use 1.4 watts as the power reading during the critical measurement time. In summary, to take power measurements of a laser beam whose power is unstable, you need to look at both the standard deviation, so you can suitably average out fluctuations, and the trend over a longer time. For more information, please visit our website.